alternative if you graze it, you get the milk in return and the cows love the scraps. So, what a lot. What should you do? Swings and roundabouts, really. But, uh, yeah. But we'll get up, I'll get out, we'll, I'll get this spread, and then we'll get out and have a look at what, uh, what the grass is like. And these are the new seeds. So, so there's a bit of clover coming through. That wasn't what we sowed. We didn't sow clover onto this field. Uh, we sowed uh, like a medium term lane onto this field. And it had got some Westerwalds in it as well. Which, if no one really knows what Westerwalds are, it's like a single crop grass. So you put it in and you normally get about a year to 18 months out of it and then it dies off and the, the uh, older grasses will take hold and out uh, fill in the spaces but um, it's like a top it's like the maximum yielding grass there is because it's just, just fast growing all the time so I mean there's quite a we got depth here I mean I bet it's probably the length of my forearm I mean, you just have to look at the how the tractors flatten the grass there. I mean, for, for the beginning of April, for the beginning of April to have grass like that, that's that's quite uh, not normal thing for us, really. But um, uh, really, reseeding up here on limestone soil, which we are on which is very good in a wet year, like this spring, because it means we can do this within a couple of days of it being really wet. But um, it makes it difficult to reseed because when you want to do it in summer, uh, everywhere burns off. So it's quite difficult. You, you, you get to the stage where you're thinking, if I plow this field, will it ever grow? You know, will it ever grow anything? But um, there's a nice patch, a thick patch of grass there on the wall side. But uh, that's because there's a manhole there. Uh, but just shows the difference in this field, which is quite a light green in colour, because it's all new seeds. Then over here, in this field, I mean, there is quite a bit of grass out here, to be totally honest. I mean, but this patch here, a couple of years ago, we had a right when we had a dry summer, we had ring feeders here for feeding uh, heifers. So it's always going to be stronger growing here because it's had a patch, it's had a bag of patching grass seed growing here that we just put down to patch up where the ring feeders were. But um, I mean, you can see where it, even two years later, you can see where the ring feeders were sat, sat here because the grass is. The soil just got damaged. Basically the soil got damaged in, but when you had no option but to feed animals because they've got nothing to eat in the field because the sun and dry weather had burnt everything off. We're a bit limited for options. But uh, a nice, nice dark green and then a nice lighter green because these are new seeds. But uh, Anyone watching this, want to let me know what we should do, graze it or mow it? I'd say mow, but it's just whether cows need it. What's the difference between grasses? There's an older grass, which are in these fields, and then a new grass that's in that field over there. But anyway, we're going to get another load of fertiliser, and uh, I'll take you with me and we'll see where, what we're doing, because this field wants to do it field beyond that one's doing. One, two, three fields here and then another field over there. Don't think we'll get all that done today, but um, hopefully we'll just get a bit more out.